Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is actually a double Z fold card tutorial. When receiving my April Love from Lizzie card kit, I've set my mind to do a spring garden using the shed and the little eyelashed curl. Of course I used more than these two in making it, but that was my idea. So this is not the usual 10 cards one kit for this month. I think tomorrow I'll have that also ready for you guys. Now, back to this card. First of all, I'm gonna stamp the shed and the girl and maybe some of the gardening tools. Because she's gonna work in her garden, she's gonna have a shovel in her hand. So, on a piece of cardstock, I've first stamped the shovel, then with the left on ink, I've stamped, I've stamped it one more time on the masking tape. Now, I'm gonna fussy cut it and cover the shovel with the mask. Now I'm good to stamp the girl and have her holding the shovel in her hands. I hope I was clear enough, if not, I am sure the video speaks more and better than I do. Now for coloring, I am using my Ecoline brush markers and I'm gonna start with the little eyelashed girl. Now, short fun fact, when I was done with this card, I've sent it to my godmother, who is a lovely person, and she was, this is you in your garden. And then I realized, well, yes, I am a brunette and one of my favorite colors is blue. I do have a garden full of tulips and daffodils, so she was right, this is me in my garden. I'll put up here, in the right corner, a photo of my garden for you guys to see.
For the card base, I am using an A2 American size card, but since I live in the Europe and we use centimeters, not inches, my card is 11 centimeters by 14 centimeters and I've scored it one more time at 7 centimeters. So I have one score at 7 and one at 14. Now I'm going to add some inked paper. I used Evergreen Bow and Salty Ocean Distress Ink to do mine and I am scoring it at 7.5 centimeters and 13.5 centimeters. What you are hearing on the background is my dog. Every time someone passes through the front of our house, she's bluffing so hard. So sorry for that. I'm going to glue it to the card base using some Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. You can use whatever glue you have around. I wanted something really strong. Off screen, I've die cutted the fence, the post pillar, and the bird from Lawn Fawn's Build a House Spring add on, and the grass and some of the flowers from Build a Basket, Easter, also from Lawn Fawn. I'll make sure and link them down into the description box. I've also fussy cutted the shed and some of the pots. I do love how the shed turned out. I wish I had one as beautiful as this one. For the small piece that forms the double Z part of this card, I'm gonna use some clear acetate. I chose to use the 100 microns just because it's very thick and has more stability. I'm going to glue the fence to the acetate sheet and while this sets up, I'm going to cut two more pieces of acetate to form the garden.
now I'm gonna start gluing everything down to the card starting with the shed. As you can see, I've encountered a problem with my acetate piece. It was too small, but that was an easy fix. I just glued another piece of acetate, one side to the existing acetate and one side to the card. I'm gonna add first the flowers and then the fence. I'm gonna add the post pillar with some mail in front of the fence and find the perfect spot for my little gardener girl. Adding some more details, the fence in front of the shed, the potted flowers and the gardening tools.
Now, for the 3D garden, I'm going to use the two acetate piece and glue them down and then add some flowers and some pots. And this is my final card. I do love how it turned out. It gives me spring and warm weather vibes. Now, if you want to see more interactive cards, check the link up in the right corner. If you want to see more Love from Lizzie videos, check the one in the left corner. And for more long phone videos, check the one in the right. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you the next time. Bye guys!